Welcome back guys, I hope your year is going well. Today I want to talk about an exciting new addition to Studio with version 18. That addition is the ability to show whatever information we want to to our portal users. Now this is an exciting new development because it allows our customers to get information without coming to us directly. They can go in and they can look at records that are related to them. For many companies, anytime you can get a customer information without them having to come to you directly, that's gonna save you tons of time. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So to illustrate this functionality, I've created a couple new models all relating to dogs that are tied to different contacts. So you can see that here. These different dogs are tied to our contacts and we want to show our contacts which dogs they have. So we're going to make sure again that we're in developer mode. Make sure and click the monkey if you have it. Otherwise go into settings, scroll all the way down and activate developer mode. Then we're going to go into studio here and you can see they've added a new option here called model pages. So we're going to add a new model page here. We're going to call it dogs. Okay, our URL is going to be model dogs. Okay, exposed model is all automatic based on this, but we could switch it up if we want to. If we have multiple websites, make sure and select the correct website here. I've only got one though. So this is all good. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Going to the website real quick, we can see, okay, now I've got all these three dogs here. They're all showing to me because I'm a backend user, but we're gonna make it so that it only shows the dogs related to the current portal user here. So you could limit that down by setting a domain right here. But from what I found, this is actually a lot more difficult than doing a record rule. So we're going to use a record rule to set this up properly. So to set that record rule, we want to click on our exposed model here. Okay. Then we're going to come over to record rules and we're going to create two of these as a base to make this all work properly. So the first record rule is going to be dog owner. Okay. We're going to set that up with this name. The name's not too terribly important, but we're going to stick it on the group user types portal, which is our portal users. So if somebody has a portal account, they have access to this group here. So the domain is the really important part here. This is what filters down the records for us. So we're going to say X studio owner, the owner of the dog is equal to the current users partner ID ID. And that's going to filter us down nicely. We're leaving that open to read, write, create, and delete, although they're not going to be able to write, create, or delete inside of the portal. But if you guys give me enough good feedback on this video, I'll go ahead and dig in and figure out how we can do that in the portal because it's totally possible. We also need to create a second rule here, and we're sticking that on internal user. And we're saying one equals one, which is basically Odoo's way of saying, if it's a record, show it. We want to be able to see it. So our employees will be able to read, write, create, and delete on all records at this point. Hopefully that made sense. Make sure and play it back over again because this is going to be an essential piece to making sure that your customers only see their data. So we're looking good so far. Let's go back to our model pages and go back into dogs so that we have that ready. And let's duplicate this tab and we're going to do some testing real quick. So go ahead and close that out. I'm going to test this by going in and going to my contacts, making sure that Andrew Test and Shaggy, the two people that have dogs in the system right now, have portal access. Now we can grant portal access for any of these people by going to the little cog right here, grant portal access. They've already got access at this point, so I'm not gonna worry about that. But if I'm using this as a test account, I'm gonna wanna go to settings. I'm gonna wanna go to users and companies, users. Make sure and get rid of this internal users filter and go in and I want to set, and this is not my test account, this is, I want to go in and change my password to something simple for testing here. So let's go ahead and grab our URL here. Okay, I'm gonna get this, oh, do it yourself, da -da 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 -da. copy that, go to a new incognito window. Okay, we're in here, and then we're gonna go ahead and sign in. We're gonna sign in with Shaggy real quick. So it's shaggy at test.com not a real email address at least as far as I'm aware and then we're going to log in here so now when we go into dogs you can see scrappy doo and scooby doo are the only two dogs that we see coming back in and looking at our dogs here in contacts dogs you can see that shaggy is the owner of both scooby and scrappy doo okay coming back into this if I were to log out and come back in as my other test account for Andrew. So test at test.com, one, two, three, four. 
we see Andrew's lovely puppy, Scruffy. Clicking into Scruffy, we see the form view here, which is, well, it's got some good information. That's Scruffy, and, well, that's also Scruffy. But what if we want more information right here? Well, we'll get into that real quick. Popping back into our model pages, we can see we have a listing view, which is going to be the view that we see first, this guy right here. And then we also see our record view, which is going to be that form view that pops up. Now, I did try to edit these using the website editor, but I'm guessing that's a piece that Odoo hasn't gotten to yet. If somebody knows of an easy way to kind of drag and drop and change up these different views, please go ahead and drop that in the comments below because it'd be super helpful. Thanks. So what we can do if we want to add more information, I'm going to do this on the record view just because that's where we want the most information likely. So let's click into the record view and you can see this is in one of our favorite languages, XML. Now we can see some of the pieces of the structure that we've come to know and love. So we've got a class here that's large and it's four out of the 12 columns. Okay. Um, we can also see another one for our image where it's six out of the 12 columns. Okay, it takes up all that space. But if we want to add some more fields, we can go ahead and just copy this real quick. They're going to be header one, right, which may be a bit big for us. So we may want to mess around with that a bit. But say I want to say record. Um, we're going to say, let's see what else we've got here. So duplicate this. Let's go back into dogs, use form. And let's look at the breed here. So say we want to do X Studio breed. Let's see how that shows up for us. So X Studio breed. And then let's go ahead and tack on the age and then our notes here. So let's go back to this. So age is going to be X Studio age. And then our notes are down here. So X Studio notes. And this is likely not going to look <laughs> perfect just yet but it gets us a starting point. So go ahead and save. Refreshing my page, this is what I ended up with, which if you're more clever with code than me, you probably would have known that was going to happen. So we're gonna wanna clean this up just a bit. Okay, I took a few seconds and messed around with this. Obviously our little header tags give us a new row. So I did up at top, H1 is his name. Then H3, I've got breed with a space. And then I've got the field for breed. Then I've got the age with a space and then the age. Then I've got my notes. Um, I'm giving myself another row for all the notes because that's an HTML field. So lots and lots of stuff in there and wanted to make it a little bit smaller. So made it H4. The end result of this is something that looks very similar to this. And I went ahead and added in some more information, but we've got Scruffy. His breed is poo poo. Age is three. Notes, he's a rather smelly and offensive little guy. Now this is a very powerful tool, but what would make it even more powerful, and what, again, I'd like to look into for next week, as long as everybody drops some support into the comments below, is how our customers could come in and change information inside of the portal view here. That would be just fantastic. They could come in, they could change information here, they could add dogs. I think that would just be a great example. So if you guys want me to do that, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. Anyway, even without being able to edit this information, it provides a way for us to communicate with our customers that we didn't have before. This is extremely useful. So hopefully you can use this in your business to save you time and communicate with your customers more effectively. As always, if you need more help, please go ahead and drop the question in the comments below or grab some time on my Calendly. And guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Always appreciate your support. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks.